This is a uh, Lakota uh, living quarter horse trailer, and I wanted to start in the living quarters of this one uh, because, I, I don't know, the moment I stepped inside here, this thing just really, really captivated me. It's got this amazing hickory look wood here, and, uh, you know, the fit and finish on everything is fantastic, and everything I've seen from Lakota thus far, and uh, I, I've just been very impressed with them, and I like this lighter cabinetry. Um, it seems like there's been a really recent push to go to this really dark cabinetry in trailers and I really miss this lighter stuff. It just it's more fun and loose and has that character and I mean this is the view from when you first walk in. Look how big this sucker is. This thing has some nice space. I, um, I think this is roughly an 11 foot short wall with a slide out. I mean you can see the depth of this slide. This is a true deep slide and that's the difference. Most horse trailers do not have full depth slides like this. Usually the sofa is barely included in the slide and you can see that you have a full foot beyond the sofa in the slide out here. And it's pretty tall. The slide is about five foot nine tall, which is bigger than most horse trailer slides. Again, it's, uh, it's things like this that's causing Lakota to quickly become uh, you know, the big up and coming rising star in the uh, living quarter horse trailer world. You know, things like uh, a finished off roof in the uh, horse area. We've got central air here, which even though it's the same size air conditioner that you find in a non-centralized unit, it works so much better. Um, I'm very well educated in the RV industry, and that's something I run into all the time, is, you know, I've got some competitors that can sell something for a dollar cheaper, but you're getting a dollar less for it. Things like that make a big, big difference. LED lighting throughout, very sharp. Even the uh, the wall panels and the roof have a, have a nice little continuity to them. They have this cool little texture look to them. Um, everything just has a, a nice warm glow. I mean, that fr I mean, it looks the refrigerator looks like it's almost sort of log cabin like. I don't know. There's a, there's just a really fun whimsical quality to everything here. And we do have a full bathroom, which is very nice. Instead of one of those little plastic slider door showers, we have a real shower. We've got a decent sink, and there's uh, the shower or the uh, medicine cabinet is deceptively deep. I mean there's actually a ton of storage in here if you look. You wouldn't realize that initially until you open it up and then you're like holy cow it really does go back there. And we have a, a full standing shower. I apologize I can't pan back very much. This uh, you know is not really conducive to walking a camera around in here. Now this is a full true porcelain stool which is nice. Um, you know you can use real cleansers and cleaners on it. The other thing I really like to point out in here is that we have a full-size Max Air roof fan. And a lot of people say Max Air on the big fans, but this is actually the Max Air brand fan. And I know that because we've got our Max Air brand wall switch here. All you have to do is push that upper left button and it will both turn the fan on and open the vent automatically. And when you're done, you push it one more time and it closes it and shuts the fan off. It's easy one touch, in and out type system. Let's step outside and give you a quick outdoor tour. And I apologize if my voice is a little bit extra nasally today. I'm fighting off a little bit of a head cold, so it's probably better you're watching my video and not, and you know, as opposed to shaking my hand. Now we did put this one in champagne to give it just a nice exterior look to make it kind of stand out. There's something about the, uh, you know, the 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 brushed trim and then like things like the the black awning and speakers just have such a cool look to it. It's just very sharp and modern and high contrast. This is all aluminum, and that's what's slick is people look at it and they assume it has a steel frame based on the price point, but this is all aluminum. Um, it's just uh, it's built a little bit closer to our dealership, so we don't have to pay crazy shipping on it. We can keep our prices in check, and we you know don't need to make a killing on every single one of these if we sell a whole bunch of them. You can see, obviously, this is a double barn door setup. You probably noticed as we walked by there were manger doors because this is 8 foot wide and it is 7 6 tall. Where that's nice is you're going to get extra headroom in both the uh, the shower, the bed, and you, if you have tall horses, you're going to want uh, you're going to want those taller um, ceiling heights. Now this is something I make sure I point out. We don't just have vented windows on the butt side, we have drop downs. Where I think that's really cool is if you already have your horses loaded and you're not comfortable with sneaking in there and uh, flipping your two-way air vents inside, you don't have to. If you open up the head windows, then you open up the butt windows, you're just going to have a ton of ventilation ripping through here. And you can see that everything is very nicely finished off inside. Your kick walls are trimmed out nicely. 
you know, all the, uh, I mean, they don't skip on anything. They weld everything together on this. They do an excellent job. And you can see that they do finish off and insulate the roof in here. Um, and underneath that is a whole skeleton of structure you don't even get to see. It's almost unfortunate you don't get to see it. It's pretty cool. You know, all aluminum flooring, extruded aluminum flooring, so it's heavy duty. This is all uh, aluminum and removable back here. I mean, there's, it's just a ton of value wrapped up into this thing, and I'm so glad we're carrying them now. Uh, give us a call. Number here is 800-256-5196. Hey, Hayless Horse Trailers of Coldwater, Michigan. Thank you.